Hey guys, welcome to the video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to update your RetroPie um, using the binaries. And this is for people who um, uh, got the RetroPie in one of my uh, setup with one of my um, micro SD cards, which came with various other operating systems as well. So um, it's not really that much different. You're just going to use the binary method. Um, which is the method that I use to um, update the Pi. So let me go ahead and show you how that's done. First, you're going to go here and you're going to enter it. And you're going to use the A button. And then you're going to come down to uh, Retro Pi Setup. Okay. And then you're going to go into update RetroPie script. When it's there, just hit enter and then hit OK, right? And um, and let the script update. And then when it's done, you can go down, hit cancel, and then make your way back here, right? And when you make your way back here, after you're done updating the script, um, go ahead and go up to binary based installation which says recommended i do not recommend you do this one if you look there it says it takes 24 plus hours in order to install and they're not kidding you will have to leave your pie on for a whole entire day straight so um it, this is much much better and then go ahead and hit enter hit ok if it prompts you and just wait it's going to take a while okay it's going to take a while to finish when it's done okay if you have the chance to um uh, come back here and perform a reboot you can right and just hit reboot um if you are at the um if it leaves you at the uh, um um at the screen where you get the RetroPie prompt, or the RetroPie setup prompt, okay, all you need to do is type emulation station, all one word, and hit enter, or you can type exit and hit enter, um, and then just reboot your um, uh, reboot RetroPie, and that's it. That's all you need to do, okay? Also, right before it's done, little windows are going to pop up in the middle of the screen that are going to ask you something about the bios or just tell you something it's going to say um, be aware the bios need to be installed for such and such emulator you're going to get a few of them just hit okay on each one the emulator is going to install but what that's telling you is that for that emulator to work you are going to have to install the bios for that emulator on your own if you got my uh, pi or my, my uh, card, and you picked the um, uh, Super Retro option where I installed a bunch of ROMs, don't worry, this is not going to affect your ROMs. This is not going to affect any of the emulators that I added ROMs for myself. So all the ROMs that you got, if you ordered that from me, they're not affected by that. It's just a few that are gonna tell you you need to add the BIOS, okay? But none of the ones that are included um, in my super retro option with the ROMs are going to ask you for that. So that's about it. It's just, just hit OK. And then I think, I believe if I remember right, it just, it should bring you back to here and then you can perform a reboot. Um, but again, if you're at the prompt, just hit emulation station, press enter or exit, press enter. And that's it. And you'll be updated um, and just uh, reboot your, um, your retro pie. So anyway, that's it guys. That's how you update. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, and um, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching. Take care.